The femur retrograde nail system is used for cases such as femoral shaft fractures, multiple fractures, and fractures after arthroplasty. The nail is made of titanium alloy and has a banding shape to match the shape of the femur and consists of six distal screw holes and four proximal screw holes. The screw hole is a semi-locking hole mechanism to prevent loosening, enabling more stable treatment. Position the patient in the supine on the table for surgery and secure the knee of the surgical site properly. Make an incision on the treatment area and place the guide pin in the center of the distal femoral cavity. Insert the instrument with the combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve and trocar into the incision to position the guide pin to be inserted. Remove the trocar and insert the guide pin combined with the electric drill or guide pin holder into the appropriate location. Remove the drill sleeve and insert the open reamer along the guide pin to drill until the head of the reamer reaches the proper position. Then remove the open reamer and guide pin in turn. Alternatively, opening the medullary canal may be performed using a primary awl. Insert the reaming rod with the ball tip to the desired depth. Using a flexible reamer shaft, reaming is carried out along the reaming rod to the desired size by starting with an 8.0 mm reamer head and increasing by 0.5 mm. And the reaming rod with the ball tip is not removed, even after reaming is completed. Prepare a nail of appropriate length, check the bending direction of the nail, and combine the nail and the assembly handle in the correct direction with an assembly bolt. When the nail and assemble handle are combined, insert the nail along the reaming rod. Attach the impact handle to the assemble handle as necessary. Use light, controlled hammer blows to seat the nail. Insert it into the desired position and finish. Check the nail endpoints of the nail with the barrel gauge of the assemble handle marked 5 mm apart. When the insertion is complete, remove the reaming rod. Attach the target guide to the assembly handle combined with the nail. Insert the guide pin into the nail endpoint targeting. Align it with the end of the nail and check the depth. Additional anterior target guide can be assembled as required. There are two types of protection sleeves depending on whether there is a thread or not and select and use them according to needs. Remove the trocar from the combination of protection sleeve, drill sleeve, and trocar. Then drill until the drill bit penetrates both cortex. And measure the depth with the depth gauge to determine the length of the screw. Using a screwdriver, insert the locking screw through the protection sleeve. Insert the remaining locking screws in the same way to complete the distal part procedure. The proximal screw tightening is carried out using a freehand technique. Using the freehand drill guide, drill to the center of the screw hole, check the depth with the depth gauge and insert the screw. Attach the selected end cap to the end cap driver and rotate the coupling screw inserted into the driver to fasten the end cap to the driver. Insert the fixed end cap into the top of the nail to tighten. When the end cap is secured on the nail, release the coupling screw and remove it from the driver to complete the procedure.